I'm Chad Douglas, continuing our Connect to Congress initiative with Illinois Congressman Darren LaHood of the 18th District. Congressman, I'd like to hear your thoughts on President Donald Trump's speech last night about border security. Yeah, well, it's unfortunate that the government is shut down, but uh, this could all be changed if congressional Democrats would work with the president on border security. And it's unfortunate that Democrats in the past have supported barriers under President Obama. They supported border security, but now because it's President Trump's issue, uh, they don't want to support him. And I think that type of partisanship is very unfortunate. We need border security. You look at the statistics when it comes to suspected terrorists, drugs coming across our border, health issues, and gang members. Um, we have to stop the flow of illegal immigration. We have to support border security. You know, in the past, we've given Iran $150 billion. We give out billions of dollars in foreign aid. The president's just asking for $5 billion for border security. And we need that. And so I support the president on that. I think he needs to stand strong on that. Uh, and we need to come together. And I'm committed to working with my Democratic colleagues in a bipartisan way to fund border security. The government can be open tomorrow uh, if, if the Democrats will come to the table and work with the president to support border security. So I thought the president did a good job last night laying out the justification for it and the crisis along our southern border. Uh, I thought it was strong. I think it was bold. Um, and now we need to act uh, to give him the money that he needs for the southern border. And how do you feel about the situation at the border? Do you think it is a crisis? And what do you want to see happen there? I think definitely it, there are parts of the border where it is crisis. If you look at Tijuana, you look at uh, some of the other crossings there, you look at the caravans and the migrants that are trying to cross in and the illegal immigrants, uh, almost 2,000 a day uh, in some points, uh, it is a crisis. Uh, and uh, we have not been able to do anything about it. Uh, we need, and the other thing that, the other observation that I would make is, some of this talk about border security, is amount, it amounts to semantics, right? I don't care if you call it fencing, I don't care if you call it a barrier, I don't care if you call it a wall, a steel wall, a concrete wall. I, I, I'm okay with any of that, but you have to have some type of deterrent mechanism to stop people from coming into this country. And that's what the president's talked about. That's what Homeland Security Secretary Kristen Nielsen has so articulately talked about. Uh, we do have a crisis along the border. We need to solve it. How is the partial government shutdown affecting your constituents, specifically in agriculture? Well, listen, it's, it's unfortunate that we're uh, almost 20 days into this shutdown, partial shutdown. 75% of the government is functioning normally, uh, but it's that 25%. And there are parts, whether it's TSA agents at our airports, uh, USDA loans uh, through the Department of Agriculture are being affected. Uh, we'll see about the IRS. So uh, there are there are parts, uh, the Ag Lab in Peoria, Illinois is affected by it. So uh, again, that's unfortunate, um, but we're gonna do everything we can to work with the administration to make sure that uh, uh, people get their back pay uh, and that uh, we resolve this sooner rather than later. Congressman LaHood, we appreciate your time.